All right, so here's Eric and Sarah Joy Brown. And Eric just spilled, I just spilled my coat. Go. 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 That's the effect she has on I just <laughs> lose my nerve, man. <laughs> Napkins! <Yeah. laughs> snap, snap. Such a diva. No, no, exactly. Such a diva. So, this is a new experience for you, being at this event. How, how, how has the whole day's, event, day's experience been for you so far? Amazing. I've had not one, well, my very first day, I memorized the wrong script. So that was great. I had John Aniston oh, look right. at me and he goes, oh how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> John Aniston totally deadpan. Yeah, it's it very funny, but I didn't know his humor yet. So yeah, that was good. I was like, oh, nothing. I'm just really hot right now. And everybody's going, what's going on? I'm like, um, where are you guys exactly running live? <laughs> and they're like, you know, we're on page 55. I'm like, oh, wow, I don't have that. I'm on the wrong episode, guys. Sorry. Oh my God. First day, hasn't happened again. But since fault. then, it's been smooth sailing. Yeah, really fun. Really okay. a great experience. Really just a, a great show to work on. Great cast. Love everybody. Well, you're coming in a good time when you love everybody. There's nobody I don't like. Oh, okay. so yeah. tell, tell me a secret. Oh, I hate that person too. Yeah. She's insane. Now the show, the show's got just a lot of new energy right now for longtime viewers, and you're coming into that right at that time. Eric, how's it been for you? Just feeling? Is there? I assume there is a different energy on the set than what you're. There is. I mean, there's a there's a good good energy. There really is. I mean, um, we we've, we've, we've had people who haven't been on the show in a long, long time come into this new scenario. A much younger generation of people, and you throw them all together, but it's worked out really well. Yeah. Because everyone is. Everyone comes to the studio right now for the right reasons. You know, it's it's to make soaps live. I mean, we're, we're literally on the on the cutting edge where networks are thinking that soaps aren't valuable anymore, and, and fans are finally speaking up. So it's, it's it's a wonderful time for us as actors, but there's a sense of responsibility that we have to make sure that we do the best damn work that we can do. Because you know what? They are viable. Soaps are viable. The old way of doing them is not viable. That's the problem. Not that they need to be canceled, in my opinion. Changes need to be made. Okay. Real specific polish, changes. Polish on little polish. Yeah. Now what we're seeing on the, the shows that are airing right now, there's definitely some flirting going on. Brady's taking his shirt off, which he tends to do once in a while. I love that. In the office, and he just goes, Bear. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's mad at him, like, oh. <laughs> Okay. That was funny. Excuse me. Nate Burkus was there that day. Remember that? Right, I'm and sure Nate was, like, Nate was probably paying attention. Yeah, Nate was probably paying uh, attention. I don't know. <laughs> he was really, off stage at that point. But I got to do this today. It was no, funny, but though. When I left, though, he was right back there with Allie. And, and I've never seen you. Right and I was back there backstage. <laughs> For like right. 20 minutes, hanging while you were finishing up your looks to camera, and right. I was just hanging out there. <laughs> so I really like, like your designs. So. We right. haven't been together as a couple for a long time, and I, you know, it was very shocking for me as well as an actress just to have him just go Chippendales on me. <laughs> <laughs> it was great though. I, I think they should have a little special effect where Brady shirt under. just like flies off. The I can imagine you know? doing that myself. <laughs> the girl so, oh, man, so. so what can you tease? Because right now you guys are just doing the flirty thing, but is there something going to develop that is coming? Smooching. There will be some Yeah, there's a kiss uh, next week. Smooching. At some point, I think it is next week. There which, is week. which isn't just like, you know, a, a casual kiss in the park. I mean, these two are fighting this relationship. Yeah. And, you know, it's not appropriate. We can't do it, we can't do it, and then they do it. So it's, it's very meaningful. It's not just a, oh, they like each other. Okay. Very passionate, very sexy. Um, and yeah, it heats up it right away. Remember? Uh -huh. I like it. Okay, so is Brady off the drink now? Because he haven't seen him boozing too much lately. Let me tell you something. Wine. I came into the after the reboot. I came into the the, the mansion, right? And I noticed there was no brandy or liquor or scotch or anything at the Kiriakis bar, which is where Brady's been frequently doing most of his scenes. Exactly. And I'm like, where's the liquor? And the the prop master just went. And I took that as, well, I guess Brady's not drinking anymore. <laughs> but I thought you were recovered anyway. Were you recovered alcoholic? Oh, there's so many things she doesn't know. I don't know, I know. anything about him. Well, he oh, was, boy. no, no, he was a drug addict. Okay. He had a little cocaine issue in Vienna. Right. Um, he got rehabilitated for that, but then he just started drinking. But drinking wasn't his problem. He could handle that. Got it. You know, as addicts always think, you know, oh, sure. cocaine's my poison. The drinking, <laughs> exactly. I can handle it. Before you know it, he's drinking, burying people alive in sarcophagus. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, so that 
that was what I, it was all the excuse you're gonna give me is that it was all the drugs. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'll buy it. Well, you both have a great time today. Thank so good to see you and, and meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you. All right.